Sam Roberts here at the premiere of Legends House with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. What's the haps? Well, you know, brother, the first thing Hacksaw Jim Duggan has to do is give a big ho! Kind of fires me up. Sounds like a library in this fancy Dan steak joint, I'll tell you. You usually do that at lunch? I do it all the time, brother. He wakes me up, gets the hair on the back of my head, standing up, gets the blood flowing, gets Hacksaw ready to go, brother. So there's never been a moment in your life where you've been like, I'm really tired of doing the hoe thing. Oh, no. Are you kidding? At this stage of the game, it's nice to be remembered, you know. Yeah. You're lucky to have anything. Yeah. And I always give Ric Flair the gimmick. I'm like, woo! I'm like, Rick, are your trunks too tight or what? It's more, ho! Tell me about I've always wondered about this because I've been a Hacksaw Jim Duggan fan for a long time. Um, and be a politician, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was growing up, uh, your hit single came out. And the lyrics were Duggan actually Duggan. beats people up. <laughs> Who's, who wrote those lyrics? Were those your lyrics? Actually, yes. They were my lyrics, <laughs> tell you the truth. What they did was they took one of my wrestling interviews and put it to music. Uh -huh. So, you know, I do a lot of charity events, and, of course, I meet a lot of music folks, and I say, well, yeah, I got a gold album. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of it when it came out? When you heard the song for the first time, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Bubba Beats. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the Bubba Beats. Bubba Beats. Bubba Beats. What did you think of it? Well, I was excited to have it out there. I yeah. mean, you know, anything that they put out on mass media, of course, is great. And yeah. like I said, it's a gold album. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was the 2 by 4 Because you always came to the ring with the big 2 by 4 Who, Was that yours or was that a Vince McMahon no, creation? Actually, that was uh, a guy named Bruiser Brody's ideal years ago. Can I tell you something? My cat, I have a, a cat. My cat's name is Bruiser Brody. Brody was a, a, one of the best, if not the best big man ever in our business. But Brody, I was working out in West Texas back in the early 80s. It was very rough. You know, uh, the fans would spit at you. They'd punch you. Just getting back and forth to the ring was a challenge. And so I'm in the back. I was wrestling with Brody. I'm all beat up from the fans hitting me. And he says, Duggan, he says, if you carry something in the ring, carry something you can use. Forget the feathered boas and sequin robes. Well, here's a two by four. I, I grabbed that. I come out yelling, "Hi!" It's like part in the Red Sea. The fans. I got back and forth to the ring without a problem, and I've been carrying the board ever since. Now, something I've always wondered. I used to always watch you growing up. You'd come to the ring, you'd throw the board up in the air about twenty, thirty feet, and you'd catch it. Did you ever not catch it? Did you ever nail you in the head? Never on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all that counts, that's right? That's all that counts. I tell you, because I throw that up as high as I could, and I would just get out, and I'm like, oh, God, catch it, catch it. <laughs> and when I caught it, it was an actual celebration. I'm like, oh, yeah, I yeah. caught it. And it worked. But I did miss it once at, uh, at a house show. Uh -huh. It hit me in the head, split me open. I went down. I mean, I came back. The producer was like, that was great. Can you do that tomorrow? Yeah. Like, never, never again. Were you always happy? You were never, uh, you were always on the, on the cusp of being in the main event. Yeah. Did you like that spot or, or, or was it a little frustrating? No, no. I, I enjoyed my spot. You know, yeah. we all can't be lead singers in the band. I had my uh, support role. It was a good role. You know, I've been doing it 35 years. And now it's almost a trivia question. You know, who is one of the best-known wrestlers that never been world champion, never been intercontinental champion, never been tag team champion? <laughs> but that's okay because my character was, I don't care if I win the match as long as I win the fight, yeah. tough guy. <laughs> That was it. Are you happy with Legends House, the big reality show? You just saw the first episode. Are you happy with the way it came out? I really am. I was excited to watch it. I think all the folks enjoyed watching it. Uh, I tell you, it's, a, it's a, a true story. Piper and I became good friends. Tony and I, Tony Ellis and I almost had a, a fist fight. I mean, all kinds of emotions you can put in there. And you were watching with the whole cast, like, you know, taking some shots at Howard Finkel's weight and, and some other. Was there any uh, awkward moments that you were like, oh, I didn't know I was going to watch this with everyone? No, I don't think there's no awkward moments yeah. with this uh, group of guys living together. You get to know somebody. You live together five weeks. I was impressed with Hillbilly Jim, Pat Patterson. Uh, like I said, Tony and I, we butted heads for 30 years. But overall, it was a great experience. I'd love to do it again. But I doubt if they'll have the same eight of us together. <laughs> I can I tell, before I let you go, and you'll call me a politician, but I want you to know something. You should have been the one 
the body slammed Yokozuna on that USS Intrepid. Well, it should have been you. I don't know what, they brought in Lex Luger. Yeah, come on. You know, and that's why my, my character still works. They put all that USA stuff on Lex. It wasn't from the heart. Right. It's my honor, my privilege to carry our flag all over this world. But when they do, when they I didn't mean to interrupt you, but when they do that to Lex, are you saying I've been doing that gimmick for years and it's the re it's real? I think right after that I made the move to WCW, <laughs> brother, and made some bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it, Hacksaw. Thank you so much. Well, before you go, young guy, give me a hoe, baby. Ho! That's a pretty good hoe, young fella. <laughs>